school teaches you what to think, not how to think. Mic drop. <laughs> Good morning. I don't know what my hair is doing. Is it? I don't know if that's better or not. <laughs> Ooh, I crusties. Uh. Hello. I'm Jessica Nicole Dickerson at Gay Jandy and welcome back to another video. It is day two of the Sunshine Readathon and it killed me to get out of bed today. Killed me. Uh, obviously it didn't kill me, I'm just being dramatic. But I was not excited. <laughs> it is 9.03 a.m. and I am just about to um, look through my vlog again. <laughs> um, my Sunshine Readathon day one vlog which is 42 minutes long how does this happen how did i do this god i talk too much so i'm gonna get to editing that i guess i'll show you also my um my reading plans for today too but i haven't had coffee or water or anything so i'm a little dead inside i'm gonna fix that very soon <laughs> hang in there i was getting dressed and uploading my video it's been taking a while and then i got a copyright claim so now it's processing. It's being rude is basically what it's doing. Because it's 10.15. <laughs> I was so close to hitting that 10 a.m. mark. Why you gotta do this to me, YouTube? Why? Now I'm mad. <laughs> because the copyright claim is affecting the quality of the video. So it's only at like 360 like pixels. It's just, it's not good quality and it makes me sad because then people are going to watch a 38 minute video and be stuck with crappy quality. And it's like, I spent so much time on this video, <laughs> editing it, filming it yesterday, and now it has a copyright claim, and now YouTube isn't going to promote it as much, and people probably won't be able to see it as much. And now I'm sad. Please go watch it if you haven't. But now it's time to start this day. I got dressed. I'm wearing pants. I guess these aren't pants. What are they called? Shorts. <laughs> uh, so I got semi-dressed. I don't know why I feel gross. Maybe because I'm mad. That's why. Well, I'm going to go have breakfast and make coffee and try and cheer up. And I have my video playing in the background trying to support myself because YouTube is against me for playing a little song in my 38 video for like 20 seconds. We love that. I'm trying to get comfortable. <laughs> I'll show you what I am planning to do with my reading today. So as you guys saw yesterday, I am started Blackout. 52 pages in. I'm going to continue to read Act 1 today um, during the live show, which again is in like 5 hours. Um, and then I think today's main focus is punching the air. I haven't... <laughs> I got this like in November of last year. And I haven't read it yet, so I'm gonna read it. The audiobook is available on Scribd. It's um, verse as well, so I feel like it's gonna be kind of like the Poet X yesterday, where I'm gonna be able to finish it very, very quickly and enjoy it, hopefully, a lot. We'll see. I obviously haven't read this, but I feel like it's going to be very good. I love Ibi Zavoy. I haven't read anything else from the other author it's co authored. But yeah, that's the plan, Stan. And then I again. I'm starting to read Ray Bear. I have the audiobook for it, so I'm hoping to actually read through this this week. So that way I can read Redemption, the sequel, soon. It comes out like August 17th. So we're very excited. But yeah, I'm gonna go make some coffee and some breakfast and unangry myself. Because YouTube is just such a joy. <laughs> Normally this is the point of the day where I watch YouTube while eating my breakfast. I didn't film it because literally it's oatmeal. <laughs> Look how sad. <laughs> Ew. It's just oatmeal so yo, just you threw in some soy milk because I like I love soy milk. This is the point of my day where I normally watch YouTube videos while eating my breakfast and drinking my coffee and chugging all my water. But one because i'm in a little bit of a sour mood because of youtube i think i'm not gonna i'm not gonna watch youtube i'm gonna try and stay off of social media and i'm gonna start reading instead but i figured you can help me or not you can help me because you're not with me i'm so sad 
Um, <laughs> I'm gonna pick a bookmark. Uh, let's see. This one's always cute when I'm reading Black Lit. This one's gorgeous. I was just using that one. <gasps> oh, this one's sparkly. Look at that. Sparkle. Oh, this one's so sweet. This one's pretty cool. I feel like even though I have so many bookmarks, I feel like I need more for some reason. Does anyone ever feel like that? I don't know why. I'm gonna go use this one from the seasonal pages. I will, I guess, link their Instagram below. They're very cute. They come out with books, bookmarks, stickers. I think they come out with a lot of stuff. Gonna use this with my book. Watch this book also put me in a bad mood. Watch it like either be like really hard hitting because I know it's about fighting for the truth. <laughs> Let's hope. Okay, I'm 44 pages in, and so far, this is a story about a boy named Amal. He's in high school, he's an artist, um, and he's on trial. Um, apparently, there is some dude who got in a fight with him named Jeremy who can't wake up. Um, but Amal swears it wasn't him. And I think the thing is, is um, Amal got into a fight with Jeremy, but I think someone else apparently like beat his face in with a skateboard. <clears throat> I'm laughing, but like it's just because saying that sentence out loud sounds so weird. <laughs> Not funny, obviously, but it's just like that sounds so aggressive. Um, so yeah, and I don't know if in the synopsis it says the words were like a scalpel shaping me into the monster they want me to be. Accurate, accurate. It it was interesting to also hear that he always felt that he was an old soul that he grew up. A man like he was born a man people saw him as a man like as if he never babbled or spit up his food or there's a bunch of poems about how people see him and depict him as a grown-up um, rather than a child learning so it's just it's making some great points I mean to be honest it might have been a mistake to read the poetics before this just because the poetics the way that the Osmana talks is very rhythmic and it might be just because she's like Dominican, so she talks like with this beat and rhythm. Um, this guy, he talks with not rhythm, but definitely in like a specific poetic verse. Like the one I was just reading about is like, his mom thinks it's justice for his son. But I know that me and him both walked down a path that we already, that was already planned for us. And we stepped onto the tipping scales of Lady Justice with our eyes blindfolded peeking through the slits because the rag is so fucking old worn out stretched thin barely there so yeah i mean not too rhythmic more to the point if anything but still poetic i'm liking it i think the story is really interesting i'm interested to see what the f's gonna happen is he gonna go to jail that'd be sad i also want to know who actually assaulted the guy with the skateboard will we know so the shorts lasted all of two hours back into sweatpants so where i belong <laughs> i am past the 100 page mark um ignore my food mobile pretend you can't see it um and i'm liking it i just i feel like this is kind of like a long way down by jason reynolds where the story has a lot of weight and has a lot of Oomph. it's talking a lot about like historical context and the um, i forget what it's called i think it's like school to prison funnel or tunnel um and how black students are treated at schools um all that stuff it, i feel like this book talks a lot about that and the hopelessness and feeling like things are out of your control those aren't books that i connect with because i feel like i just don't really know the character well i'm 100 pages in and i just feel like i don't know this guy amal and it's so I, there's a disconnect um amal like i just don't i'm like i'm waiting because it's how many pages is this it's 380 pages so i'm like a fourth way through the book i'm i'm waiting to kind of give a crap like uh there was points where i was like gut wrenched when he's talking about going to this may be a spoiler but not really if it's in the first fourth of the book but yeah, it talks about him going to juvenile hall and how people are treating him. So it's like, it's heart wrenching and stuff. I just, I don't know him really well. So I'm like, it's generic. So it's like, I can 
see any person kind of going through this situation and i think that's the purpose of the story that any of us could be a mall um especially black young men or muslim black young men so we'll see but it's also like there are stories that are not about the individual so i respect that if it if this is one of those books i still respect that i just never know how to rate those books because it's like this is such an important story so it's like my personal view how do i weigh that you know what i mean you know what I mean. Ew. Ugh. The counselor here is like... Okay, so Maul is an artist, both in physical media and also poetic medium. It's like he raps and like writes poetry and stuff. And him and a kid connected over rapping and they were rapping to each other and all the get kids in the lunchroom were like, yo, shut the fuck up. Like, mm. And they were gonna like kick some ass if they, they didn't shut up so the two boys were like okay okay we're, we're done we're done talking and the counselor pulls this kid in and she's like this isn't like going to get you a record deal this isn't the setting for your mixtape like blah 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 and the guy is sneaking in his head like are you just telling me to shut up like everyone else is around here like i just think it's funny because it's the second person who's told him that you're not gonna get a record deal this you're not a rapper like blah 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 it's like hey you know self-expression doesn't have to be like i guess ghetto or whatever like i don't know why people keep referring to them as rappers just because they like poetry and they like rapping it's like let them express themselves they're in juvenile detention they're basically in jail so like why stop them they're not harming anyone ah uh, i just hated the way she said that she's like mm. You need to take this seriously. This is your life. Like, stop messing around. And it's like, I would have been doing this outside of prison, except like with way more fervorance and attitude. And so it's like, you're hindering me, miss. <laughs> like, get it straight. I don't know. I didn't like it. I don't like her. She's not helpful. Oh, I really like how they're connecting literature into this because he's read a lot of books from Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Maya Angel, and they just referenced her because there's this poem, Dust, that's the moms telling him, like, they're, they can't kill you in here, but they're gonna try. That's the point. Locking you up is enough for them. They will try and crush your spirit until there's nothing but dust. They both say it together. And what does dust do, Amal? What did Maya Angelou say that, about dusk? It rises, which I, I just love. It's just very poetic. But yeah it's so truthful because he got he just got attacked and i'm just like mm. i am caring for him a little bit more i feel like we're actually starting to see him and his day-to-day -day a little bit not like it's pleasant obviously but i'm starting to care more about him which is great which is what i want <laughs> there was some wisdom just dropped that let me read the quote school teaches you what to think not how to think mic drop <laughs> and then there was a moment in class apparently because he was in a prestigious art school he got in and he was taking ap um art history and she was like the teacher slipping through the slide spain all these european countries and artists and expressionism and cubism and <laughs> amal raises his hand and he's like so did only you know old white people paint and she failed him and asked him to leave the class. The story is basically everyone sees him as disruptive and angry and enraged. It's like he just happens to be a black man. You just have these perceptions of him because of that. Because it's a valid question. Like, why are you only showing us white famous artists? Like, did no one ever paint in Africa? In China? In, you know, like there's south america there's so many places around the world and it's like why is history so european so it was just you know my drop moment for him i have an hour left let's see so i'm like i think yeah 200 pages in and it's i don't know i'm, I'm still a little conflicted about the book because i i feel like it's telling a cool narrative that's very eye-opening but at the same time just not hitting me like it's supposed to whatever whatever we'll talk about this in a little bit <laughs> so i just finished punching the air and i do have to say okay i was conflicted at first 
it was more like a three star vibe at first because I really did not feel connected to him at first because it's like you don't really get to know him and I think that's the whole point of the story is like the perceptions we're putting on these people it's rough it was a rough time but um the story is all about the system how it's corrupt and how many people are sent to juvie and told to throw themselves into the system like plea bargains and stuff like that even if they're not guilty because it's better um even though it's not and it's just sad <laughs> and this is based off of yusuf who is a co-writer who was imprisoned um wrongfully com convicted because wrong place wrong time he looked a certain way it's just such a shame <laughs> but um i i think i'm gonna give this a four star i think it it did touch me i will say that the narrative voice like because i didn't know him as well like i didn't have that personal connection so it wasn't a five star feel but that doesn't negate the fact that this is a very empowering it's such an empowering story to use your art to tell your true story and that's so important <sighs> yeah it's a shame that this happens to people in general like such a shame um but yeah that was a little bit of a sadder note than i wanted but it also was nice that to show faith um and to actively try and stop these systems to educate myself um i always think about what am i gonna do in the future to help and i hope i can do something in the future to help it's my thoughts for today <laughs> um the live show is probably gonna be in about like 30 minutes i don't know what time it is but i think it's close to like 2 20 and i have a live show with mika august and it's gonna be at three we're probably gonna go for an hour and a half or so because she can't stay too long but it's gonna be chill fun time and i'm going to read blackout um but yeah those are the reading vibes for today i haven't done my um like video photo challenge yet so i think i'm gonna do that i think i'm just gonna post a picture because i don't have the energy for a reel today and now i'm trying to decide what book i want to read next i'm gonna be reading blackout during the live show the act two i know i want to read rare Be ray bearer talking is so hard um but like my kind of filler book i'm trying to figure out what it is kind of want it to be a positive book so i'm going to my my tbr stack here um <laughs> since i want positive i won't be reading this because i know this has to deal with i think a lot of trauma we'll save that maybe for friday um so i have charming as a verb and perfect on paper so i think i might just start charming as a verb because i need something positive and happy I need it in my feels right now. <sighs> okay, let's do this. I just wrapped up the live stream with Mika and it went so well. I love her so much. She's just such a joy and she's also very much into acting and it's just, she's the bomb.com. So yeah, I did that, but I have to admit, I'm so tired. I was reading a chapter in Blackout and to be honest, it's not my like totally, it's not my favorite the storyline between these two girls um mostly because i just feel like it's just a lot of talking <laughs> and maybe because i'm tired though i think that's also why so i think it's 5 45 i might take a little power nap which might be a mistake i also got a notification for a self tape which i'm so excited for i'll be working on that tonight but yeah i managed to read about 40 pages of blackout and i finished one book already today so it's still we're still going strong <laughs> i'm just i'm losing steam a little bit here and yep <sighs> we're gonna keep trucking forward my hair is looking wild so you may notice it's the next day taking that nap was a mistake because i took a nap then i woke up and had dinner and then i went back to bed and I still feel tired. Oh my gosh, I'm so... It's okay. Moving forward, what did I read? How many pages did I read? And who am I going to spotlight? Let's do this. Okay, so first of all, my spotlight for today um, is someone I think is doing an amazing job, killing it, spreading lots of love and positivity, and that's Tahada. And I will link her channel below. She is a booktuber, um, also kind of fashion, lifestyle, 
lots of stuff her tiktok's really popping right now so i definitely would go support her support her she speaks a lot about like muslim positivity and things like that i really love what she's doing so sending her love that way the next shout out will be my youtube comment shout out and that goes to shauna x let's see xx i actually see their comments a lot and i really really appreciate them it's very cool that people continue to watch my videos it's mind-boggling but she commented <laughs> oh i really need to get around to reading elizabeth acevedo's books looks they look so good but endless tbrs will be the end of me <laughs> i hope you get to read it soon and i hope you like it like we'll see especially the poet x is very very short so maybe pick it up sooner rather than later i might be biased <laughs> okay so I managed to read Punching the Air, which I think I'm going to give a four star. It probably felt a little bit just more like a 3.7 just because I wasn't personally connected to the story and character until after into part two of the story. It, there's three parts, I think, into the story. Um, and the messaging of this was just very important. Um, I feel like it talks a little bit about self-fulfilling prophecy and how the system makes you kind of feel hopeless and that there is no future and still having faith in yourself and that you have the power to control your life and for a lot of people especially young black men they don't feel that way so i think this is a very impactful book i feel like lots of people should read it i want to check out more of Yusef's work because obviously i feel like what he's doing is really cool talking about his experience having gone to prison unrightfully like unjustly he was innocent um and spending years in prison that is crazy to me um but yes loved it four star 3.75 if we want to be specific but let's see it is how many pages long 386 pages and i read 40 pages so i think i managed to read a total of 426 pages i can't math i forgot the number i just said yes yeah, six yeah 426 pages which is great because it's more than monday monday read 409 but we're still going strong makes me happy we'll see what happens today's vlog because it's already like 10 and i haven't edited this video or uploaded it and i have an audition due soon so you know tuesday might be my break day Ooh, day three it's already off to a rough start but uh that's for for future video problems but yeah wrapping up this vlog thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're enjoying the sunshine readathon as much as you can there's a playlist of all the videos together of tbrs challenges and now vlogs i'm so excited but yeah i appreciate you guys so much oh and i did want to mention if you are interested in winning an exclusive sticker not winning getting an exclusive sticker and a handwritten note check out my patreon i have a special offer running until august 8th so it's like two weeks you have a chance to win a awesome sticker win get an awesome sticker i keep saying win <laughs> i already appreciate i have two new patreons and it's i'm just so thankful because it means so much it really does support my work and i also get to have a whole other outlet with patreon that's specifically get cater to people who really really love my content so i love doing that for you guys it's so exciting but yeah that ends today's vlog i hope this video gave you a little bit more sunshine and i will see you in the next one